Hi, I'm Michael Davey, owner of Michael Davey Theatrical Cosmetics. About 12 years ago, I developed a water-based plastic that has since become the latex alternative available to the makeup industry. Appliances can be made with watermelon by slushing into simple plaster molds allowed to dry and peeled out, just like latex. No confusing back and forth transfer paper process is necessary to apply these appliances. And the resulting effect is quite convincing. These appliances are applied with alcohol and blended with alcohol. When applied correctly, they are very translucent, allowing for the actor's own skin color to actually show through, eliminating the need for a matching skin color makeup. Let's take a look at the easy process as I apply my Revulsion Watermelon Appliance to the head of Mitch Hyman. This appliance can be used anywhere an evolved wound is wanted. A missing patch of skin can be realistically simulated with the Revulsion Appliance. In this case, we are simulating either a scalping or perhaps a motorcycle injury. It's a wound to the top of the head. The first step is to decide where to place the appliance. Simply position it until it is where you feel it looks best. Flat surfaces are fine, but a rounded surface adds dimension. In this case, the corner of the head lends to a more convincing wound placement than simply on the top. Once you have found the position of the appliance, lift up the appliance and apply the alcohol liberally to the middle area. This will tack the appliance down while you lay down the outer edges later. Press the appliance into place and hold firmly to allow the alcohol a chance to do its thing. The larger the appliance, the longer you will need to press. Once you feel that it is holding, you can begin to lay the edges down. With larger appliances, I've found that putting the alcohol in a spray bottle helps cover larger areas and speeds up the application. If you would like to use your own alcohol instead of what's provided in the kits, use 99% isopropyl alcohol or ethyl alcohol. It's important to attach the entire appliance and not just the edges, like with a hollow latex appliance. Now that the middle of the appliance is attached, you can begin to attach the edges. You can put some of the alcohol in a cup or use it straight from the bottle provided. Roll back an edge of the appliance and apply some alcohol and lay the edge down and hold for a count of at least 20 seconds. Try not to let the edges roll under as you do this. Once that area is down, repeat this process all the way around the appliance until the entire edge of the appliance is down. some areas may be a little more stubborn to work with, but with a little patience and persistence, it'll be fine.
Don't be afraid to loosen and reposition an edge if it isn't where you want it. Also, sometimes slightly stretching the appliance can help it fit better without pleats. However, if a small pleat is unavoidable, don't worry too much as they will blend out in the next step.
Once the edges are down, you can begin to blend the appliance into the skin. Watermelon is applied with alcohol and blends with the same alcohol. To blend, just apply some of the alcohol to the top edge of the appliance and slowly draw your thumb across the edge from the appliance towards the skin. As the alcohol evaporates, it will melt the watermelon slightly and blend it into the skin. You can drag this blended watermelon across until it disappears. You will also notice that this will make the watermelon go clear and take on more of the skin color beneath. So we're not only blending the appliance edge, but also the color. This is also the time we blend out any pleats in the edge. Using the alcohol and the applicator provided, apply the alcohol to the pleat and the excess material will simply blend off. Continue this blending process until the appliance is completely seamless. As soon as the appliance is blended, begin adding what I call the meat color. We know that the wound is not really deep, so we need to make it look deep by adding a dark color to the wound area. This maroon will make the wound look deeper and traumatized. It simulates the, the underlayer of skin. Apply the maroon to the entire area inside the wound and up onto the skin edges. This will represent the area where the top skin is missing. You can apply as much of the color as you think it will take to make the area look deeper. Sometimes adding black before the maroon will make it look even more deeper and darker. This also helps to bring out the texture of the wounded skin. Be sure to keep the maroon inside the wound and make the edge of the wound a hard separation between the inside and outside skin.
If you have an airbrush, you can apply this color with it. These colors are actually my airbrush foundation called AGPC. Once the maroon is applied and dry, you can begin to apply the blood color. Have fun with this step because there are a few tricks to working with the blood color. Keep alcohol handy because the alcohol helps make the blood run better. Alternate between applying blood color and alcohol. The alcohol thins the blood color allowing it to run more realistically. Apply the blood to the inside of the wound and allow it to flow over the edge of the appliance. Do not apply blood evenly over the edge to try and conceal it. This will actually draw attention to the edge. Allow the edge of the appliance to show through in places. This unevenness to the blood pattern will actually help break up the edge of the appliance and help conceal it and make a more convincing effect. Keep the blood pattern somewhat random and organic. Think of how the blood might actually flow, but also keep a bit of dramatic effect to it. The spray bottle of alcohol really comes in handy at this time and helps to thin the blood and make it run more realistically.
Once the blood is applied and dry, the makeup is completely waterproof. You can actually take a shower with the makeup on and it'll look the same coming out of the shower as it did going in. Just don't use soap. You can also dress the wound with KY jelly, blood paste, or other blood products, but they will not be waterproof. Applying silicolor to the blood will keep it shiny. When the blood dries, it will darken slightly. This can yield a bit of a dried wound look. If you want it to stay shiny though, use the Silicolor, KY, or just water. Thank you for your interest in watermelon. For more information, please contact me at 1-888-225-7026 or visit us online at www.mycoldavy.com.